Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to another dollar DIY video. This time we are making five different wall decor pieces that can be customized to fit your own personal style. These can be used year round and you don't need any special tools. So all of that said, we are getting started right now. This first idea will be for anyone out there, no matter your style, no matter your DIY skill level. And it's great because we are using common defined items from Dollar Tree. All you have to do is snatch up two of their thicker frames. So the kind that would stick out from the wall, maybe a, almost a full inch and just remove the backing, hot glue the glass to your frame. This is a marvelous way to display your pressed dried flowers. If you don't have any pressed dried flowers, all you gotta do is go on a walk, pick some flowers, throw it in a book for about two weeks, and then you can do this DIY, my friend. You can hot glue the flowers to the glass or you can use Dollar Tree's spray adhesive. I end up using both because one of my flowers, I believe it's called a stock flower. It's kind of um, flaky. Fla <laughs> yeah, flaky would be the best word to describe it. More delicate petals and it would have been, I wouldn't have been able to hot glue the smaller petals to the frame. And by the time you put the second frame on, you cannot see the spray adhesive at all. So hot glue or spray adhesive works just fine. Then hot glue one of Dollar Tree's garden chains or some rope to the back of your frame to hang it on the wall. Not only does this make beautiful decor, but this is a great way to preserve those special flowers, whether it's Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, or from a funeral. But if you are looking to decorate a larger wall, then this idea is for you. You just need to pick up six to eight of the 11 by 14 frames from Dollar Tree, which is also the largest frame they carry. Also, <laughs> the most flimsy frame. So word of the wise, definitely hot glue the corners and then reinforce the little hanging part with some duct tape or hot glue, just the same. The great thing is though, these are real glass frames and the outer frame itself can be easily spray painted or hand painted to the color of your choice. Like I said, this will go for any decor style for real, it doesn't matter. Now, most of us, I know me for sure, have so many photos on Instagram, Facebook, years and years old that I've never printed off. Great time to do that is right now. And if you do it in black and white, you can just use regular printer paper, regular printer, print off your photos and it still looks great. This is gonna look super high-end, super classy. To take up the classiness and super high-end game, you're gonna dress it up with some Dollar Tree's mats. For $12, I bought six frames, six photo mats, and I just used my printer at home and photos from my Facebook page to make this wall decor in the office. I love the way this looks. I personally like using photos of places that have a great memory attached to them or they're very sentimental to me, but you could also do this with people, pets, whatever your heart desires. It's your DIY, it's your decor, and this looks so high-end. This next idea is decorative and functional. All you need is one of Dollar Tree's larger MDF board signs. It doesn't matter which one. So I'm using one from Halloween, but they carry this style year round. Then three to four of their smaller wooden boxes and some wood glue for a stronger, longer hold. And as I mentioned in my last video, the wood glue at Dollar Tree is actually the best price compared to any other name brand dollar per ounce or ounce per dollar all the way up to eight ounces. You could use hot glue, but for a longer, more sturdy piece, just use wood glue or second best would be gel super glue if you don't wanna wait for the dry time of wood glue. But hey, you know what? It's your DIY, do it however you want. Then as always, hand paint or spray paint the color of your choice. I went back and drilled two holes where the beware sign already had the holes so I could loop another one of Dollar Tree's garden chains to hang my piece. But you could just hot glue or super glue something to the back just the same, depending on what you're using this for. So I'm actually going to be using this, or I am currently using this in my son's room so he can hold his little markers and pens and stuff like that. But I wanted to style this and show you this would look beautiful outdoors just the same. Add a few little potted flowers in there or indoors with some succulents. Look, decorative or totally, you know, aesthetically pleasing organizational piece. I love that DIY and I think it would work great for almost any room in anyone. 
Now check it out, y'all. <laughs> if you do not have a Cricut, then you probably already know Dollar Tree's letters are great. But make sure you're definitely checking out their wall sticker section because at first glance, it usually looks like it's a bunch of kiddish looking wall stickers. But if you dig through, they're not always the same. And you can find some hidden gems like this beautiful world map silhouette. Now we have some options. You can use two of Dollar Tree's larger MDF signs, hot glue them together with some popsicle sticks or something. But I recommend, I highly encourage you to search on Facebook for free wood. Do this in your local neighborhood Facebook page or buy nothing, sell nothing Facebook pages or just search Facebook market for free wood. That's how I get 99.9% .9 of the scrap wood I use in all of my DIYs. So no matter what wood or MDF boards you're using, just put your contact paper or your little stickers onto the board. Now, here's the funny thing. <laughs> they were missing some pieces, which is fine. So I just kind of sort of tried to cut it out myself. I looked at a world map online and it's totally not 100% accurate, but this is 100% decorative. And this is going to be light enough, whether you're using plywood or the Dollar Tree MDF boards to just use command strips to hang it. And that's it. So I really, I'm, I love the way this turned out. I mean, y'all, this cost me a dollar. I used paint I already had on hand. I got the wood for free. This is like something they sell at World Market or Home Goods for 15 to $20, depending on the size you make. I love the way this turned out. And this will look great in an office, but this also is actually going into my son's room. He's about to be seven. So we're going to give him more of a big boy-ish room. Now, if you're not about the square or rectangle, you want to make even more of a custom piece. A great thing to use is Dollar Tree's foam board. And if you pick up two of their foam board pieces and some of their cork pieces, this is contact paper, although heads up, I actually purchased mine from Home Depot and I did the math. So Home Depot is a little bit more expensive, but it is more convenient because you just get one longer roll. So However you want to do this, it doesn't matter. And then snatch up some spray adhesive, which Dollar Tree also sells. Spray the boards and then just connect them to make one thicker piece of board. Use a Dollar Tree hula hoop or a laundry basket, whatever you have on hand to make an extra large circle. Cut that out using a box cutter. Box cutters are also available at Dollar Tree. By the way, you get three for $1. Then just cut down your cork starting attaching on the outer rim of the circle. So don't do the top first, do the sides first, and then we are gonna go back and do the top. Whether you're using the longer roll, like I bought and I used, or the little pieces from Dollar Tree, your cork will have to overlap, or you're gonna have to cut it up in pieces to make it fit on the top, which is totally fine. Then mark off half of your circle, and I just marked off where I had to cut two pieces to make one full piece, you see what I'm saying there, with some paper and then some painter's tape and paint it the color of your choice. Normally I would spray paint, <laughs> but it was raining this day. So I went ahead and painted by hand. I do know how to do that too, by the way. I, I don't do it very often on my channel, but I do know how to do it. Then you can mark off another little line at the top with another piece of painter's tape and use Dollar Tree sticker letters to write out your name, your last name, write out welcome, whatever you want to write. And then your second paint color, hand paint or spray paint. The next day it was not raining outside, so I was able to spray paint. And that is it. Now the cool thing about this DIY is it's totally customizable. All of these DIYs were, but I hope this gave you an idea even more so. Maybe if you didn't wanna do a cork board piece, which by the way, this is a functioning cork board, letter board, note board. Maybe instead of cork, you could use Dollar Tree's wood contact paper or some type of fabric and make this into even more of a decorative piece than an office, kids room, classroom type of piece. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had so many requests for just regular everyday DIY wall decor. So if you're one of those people, I hope you're happy. I hope I did my best. I really tried to use things that I have made and I'm like proud I made <laughs> or ideas I'm proud to put in my home, but if you are looking for seasonal decor, well then guess what my friend, I've already made a fall video. If you're looking for the best Dollar Tree deals to buy right now, that was my last video. And then guess what? If you're looking for Christmas already, no worries. I made one of those videos too, Christmas in July. All three of these videos will be linked in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and much love to you, my friend.